now you know that Halo Flashpoint will be in your hands in November, you're already wondering what we have planned next. So today I'm going to give you the roadmap for the first three months of 2025 so that you can get ready to take the fight to your enemies. Let's start by addressing a question that crops up quite regularly and tell you that the Banished are coming to Halo Flashpoint. They'll be making an appearance in the middle of 2025 and I'll be giving you some details on those closer to release. However, just know that we do hear you and they're on their way. With that said, let's focus on January's releases. Now in January, we have two products coming up for you. The first one is the Halo Flashpoint paint set using the fantastic Army Painter Fanatics paints. And also included in this box is the fully playable Master Chief miniature. Some of you may have pre-ordered this paint set when we first announced it, and you'll get yours at launch in November. However, for those of you that didn't pre-order it and you wanna purchase it now, this is your opportunity to pick it up at retail. Also releasing this month is the official Halo Flashpoint organized play kit. You can bring the thrill of both competitive and casual Halo Flashpoint events to your local store or your tabletop gaming club using this organized play kit. Compete for glory, beat your friends, record your achievements, and win a special set of acrylic mission tokens. This organized play kit is good for up to eight players, so you can use multiple kits to expand beyond that. The kit contains an acrylic mission token set, which you can use as a prize, a booklet on how to run a Halo Flashpoint event, an achievements poster, eight sheets of event stickers, and eight double-sided achievement and score sheets. We'll be bringing you more details on this organized play kit in a future video. Now moving on to February, and this is the month where you can start to add to your gameplay or your gaming events with these three products. First up to help you bring extra terrain to your games of Halo Flashpoint is the highly requested UNSC base terrain set. Made of the same pre-colored and easy assembly material that you get in the Recon and the Spartan sets, this pack allows you to add more density of terrain to your games, or it's perfect for those of you who are tournament and event organizers, and you just need a whole lot more terrain for your events. Each pack also contains 10 weapon pickup cards and a full token set for your games. Now also coming in February are two deluxe gaming mats, which are perfect to elevate your gaming experience, or again for you tournament and event organizers who need durable and easy to store gaming mats for your events. These deluxe gaming mats are full color neoprene and are rubber backed to make sure that they stay in place during the heat of your battles. The first design for the mats is the Field Outpost and the second design is the UNSC Firebase and these will be available to purchase separately. Now onto March and this is where things really do start to heat up. By this time you'll have completed your Spartan training, you'll have painted your Spartan's armor and you're ready to take the fight to the enemy. Well, we have got you covered with four new releases in March. The first and probably the most important one is the War Games expansion pack. Here you can start to fine tune your fire teams for tactical excellence by adding new Spartans into your fire teams and points to list build. This expansion will give you points values listed for every miniature and weapons combination that are released so far allowing you to build custom fire teams that go far beyond the base game's team drafting mechanic. Of course, without additional fire team options, what fun would that be? So included in this pack are four additional pre-assembled plastic Spartans with Mark V B armor and new loadouts, including the concussion rifle plus more. This expansion includes a war games booklet, which contains the points and rules on how to build your teams, four Spartan miniatures and their game cards, plus some new game cards and tokens. This is one that you won't want to miss out on. Now, those four extra Spartan options are fantastic, but how about even more options? Well, also coming this month are Fireteam Cerberus and Fireteam Hydra. Fireteam Cerberus allows you to expand your Halo Flashpoint experience even further with four additional Spartan Fireteam members with Mark V B armor and new starting loadouts, including the fearsome gravity hammer. Now, if you picked up the Halo Flashpoint Recon Edition and didn't get your hands on the additional Mark VII armored Spartans that were in the Spartan Edition, you can now add those four Spartans to your collection by picking up Fireteam Hydra. 
Now, both the Fireteam Cerberus and Fireteam Hydra packs contain the pre-assembled plastic miniatures along with the game cards that are required. Now, lastly, in March, we'll also be adding some additional terrain with the UNSC scenery set. You can really enhance your games of Halo Flashpoint by bringing your UNSC Firebase or Field Outpost Arena to life with this set of highly detailed scatter terrain, including UNSC barriers, generators, and crates. Now, as you know, this game has sold way beyond our initial estimates, so much so that we've had to start a second print run of the Recon and Spartan Edition core sets before it's even released. So in order to make sure you all get your hands on these new waves of releases at launch, we're putting them up for pre-order from today. This way we can ensure that everyone who pre-orders the new releases can get them when they launch. You'll be able to order these direct from us through our website or from your local friendly gaming store. We'll have some fantastic bundle deals available for you to pre-order so that it's really clear what's included and you can make sure that you get exactly what you want. Head over to haloflashpoint.manticgames.com and pre-order yours today. So that's the first three months of 2025's releases, and with so much more planned to come out, we haven't even shown you the Banished yet, so you may be thinking, is that all we've got planned? Well, no. I think we're just getting started. <laughs>